How's it going everybody? I'm Patrick Static. Welcome to another Static Saturday vlog. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic, amazing day. Let me know how you guys are. It's going down in the comments. I am by myself today. MK's a little busy with some artsy stuff. So, regardless, we're going to jump into it. We got a bunch of you guys' mail. I've got some stuff I want to talk to you guys about. And I have a fantastic, and I mean fantastic, amazing song for you guys for the rest of the day. So, let's jump into the mail. Our first letter comes from Aria Collier by, from Mechanicsburg, Ohio. I think it's Mechanicsburg. Ooh, we got a big letter. Okay, hold up, hold up. We got like, oh, well, no, no, no. I thought it was a big friend letter, but no, we got some awesome friend art too. Okay, okay, here we go. It is a nice letter says to help you. My name is pronounced like the Little Mermaid. Like Ariel, I got you, I got you. Go ahead and read on camera if you want. It says, Dear Pat, my name is Ariel, and it's spelled A E R R I E L. That's not, that's not what she said, but that's how it's spelled because Ariel is usually A R I E L, I think. I, th I think. Anyway, it's a really cool freaking name, dude. And I am 16 years old. I have been putting this off for a while because I kind of feel like an annoying person. But I wanted to know your. I wanted. I wanted you to know you're an amazing person and one of my favorite YouTubers. Thank you. You're not annoying. I hope you guys don't think that you guys are annoying. You guys are amazing. Don't don't think you guys are annoying or bothering any. You guys, super. I found you through Wade when I first started watching you. I was really depressed and going through a hard time. I've only been watching you for about a year, but when I had started watching it, uh, it was about a week after my cousin had committed suicide. So it was a really rough time for me, but you really helped me through that. Every time I watched your videos, I always, had a, I always had a smile on my face. I wanted to say thank you for helping me through these rough times and for always being there when I needed you. Even though you didn't know, also I love your face and you're an amazing nugget. Love, Ariel. P.S. The photos I have sent are some photos I drew when I was depressed. I also thought you would like them. Well, thank you! And I'm, I'm, I'm terribly sorry to hear about your cousin. That's... I... It, it, it's really hard to deal with, you know, friends, family, you know, acquaintances that do commit suicide and stuff like that. And I'm I'm happy that the channel and my derpy videos and Wade and Mark and Jack and all these other amazing YouTubers can help you guys. You know, not, not just me, but, you know, Gar and JP and everybody, just everybody that we can help you guys kind of distract yourself from a lot of the big problems in the world. You know, I, I feel... Nowadays, we do need a big distraction just because of all the crap that's going on, you know, and I Wanted my channel to do exactly what you said in the thing to, to bring a smile to your face That's all I've ever wanted to do starting this channel because when I started it I was also in a really hard time. I was really depressed. I was Having a really really rough time with things. So I'm I'm glad I'm able to help you in some way shape and form area now, Ariel also sent us some amazing friend art that I want to check out. Okay, the first one is... Ooh, this looks really cool. I think it's like an eye. I hope I'm, I'm, hope I'm holding it right. It looks really freaking cool. Again, I'm not sure what... Ariel, you'll have to, you'll have to tell me down in the comments or tweet me what, what are these. Because I want to know. This one looks cool. I can just see it on the inside. Ooh, okay, I thought it was a Charizard, but it's not. It's like really cool. It looks like a dragon to me. That looks really freaking cool, dude. I love. It. I think. Okay, so I think this is like the eye for it. Maybe. I don't know. I've got a really big thing for like the eye of Ra. You know, I, I love Egyptian stuff. So like Yu-Gi-Oh was very close to my heart because it was all Egyptian stuff. But regardless, thank you so much, Ariel, for the amazing friend art and the amazing friend letter. I love you. You're amazing. All right. Our next letter comes from a Gracie Tidmore from. Joe Bahaluka, Alabama? I hope I say it. <laughs> it's J O P P A H U L A C O. Okie dokes. That's a really crazy cool name. Dude, I love seeing where you guys are from and stuff. Oh! Okay, hold on. We have to get to that in a second. From a friend. Oh, we got two letters. One from a friend, one from. Okay, okay, hold on. Hold on. This is actually. Okay. Ooh. Oh. Okay, hold up, hold up. There's a lot of stuff in here. Okay, so the main letter we got is from a friend. It says on the it says on the back of the letter. It says, "Hey Pat, my name is Blue Blues Poison. Blues Poison. My real name is Gracie. You probably haven't seen any of my comments, but I try to comment every video. What's your username? If it's Gracie or if it's Blues Poison, I check. At so this is the thing is, I feel really bad now because when I first started my channel. I had a lot of time on my hands because I was. A silly sign holder for the insurance company I was where I work for that I still work for now but now I'm an IT guy so I work like 10 hours a day and I don't get all the time to re reply to comments but 
I see every single one. I read every single one. And I know that doesn't mean a lot to many people, but I always try to see every comment, read every comment. I try to reply to as many as I can when I get the free time. Weekends are the best because I don't work a lot. So I'm sorry. I'm, I'm trying to get back on track of replying to a lot of the comments and messages and everything. I'm sorry, guys. But I, if it's Blue's Poison, I need to see the picture, too. I, I, I relate pictures to names because I'm... Uh, but stupid. But okay, anyway, back to the letter. Sorry if my handwriting is a little sloppy. Your handwriting is amazing, okay? My handwriting sucks. I, I always say that. You guys always say that your handwriting looks crappy or whatever. It it looks it looks fine. It looks great. I could read it fine. You guys are flipping out about nothing. Yeah. I only found your awesome channel at the middle of the year. I found out I found you through Wade's channel and the Reik Let's Play. That was such a fun Let's Play too. Hilarious, by the way, and I can't put into words how much you mean to me. You've helped me through so much. At the beginning of the year, a very close friend passed away. Her name was Danny, and she was very kind. After her passing, I grew depressed, and I lost many of my friends, lacking of from lack of talking, as I didn't see the point. I spent most of my time watching YouTube, and luckily found you. Thanks to you, I talk much more. Also, thanks to you, I'm planning on making a YouTube channel. Awesome! Although I want to wait until I'm at least 20, which is a little ways away, but the five years is worth the wait. By the way, I'm writing this October 15th, 2016, which is seven days away from my birthday. Hold up! So right now, it is actually Gracie's birthday. She said this a week ago, so happy freaking birthday, Gracie! Woo! Happy birthday! Hope you have an amazing day if you're watching, but freaking happy birthday, man! I think, I think, you see it, you see it five years away, so you're happy sweet 16, you're freaking awesome. Okay, okay, hold on, back to the letter, now I'm getting on. I'll be turning 15, oh, <laughs> happy 15th birthday, sweet 15, sorry. Just, just cut that out and we'll save it for next year. Anyway, <laughs> uh, I absolutely love you, you've helped me through so much and I'm so thankful. Thank you, Pat, you never, you'll never realize how much you mean to me and how much of an inspiration you've been to me. I hope this wasn't too long, and I hope you liked the drawing. By the way, if you don't mind, say hi to my good friend, Nikki. Thanks again, Pat. I love your face. I love your face, Nikki and Gracie. Happy birthday again. Sorry for the sweet sugar. Happy sweet 15th birthday. You're freaking awesome. Thank you so much. You, you're too freaking sweet and kind. And Gracie included this amazing, cute little nugget. It's so freaking cute. I love my feet. I don't even have a feet. I'm like ghosty feet. It's so freaking adorable. I love it so much. Ah. And then Gracie also gave me some stuff that I'm going to dispose of because it's a personal matter. But I will take that. I will take care of that for you, Gracie. But thank you so much. I love it. It's so cool. It's so cute. It's awesome. And happy birthday. Our next package. Well, I think we're having letters now. We just have two vanilla envelopes. And we've got a big box from somebody. But we got Victoria Clemens from Stanton. Stonton, S T A U N T, Stonton, Illinois, which is crazy. When MK and I picked up this mail, she's like, "Wait, one from Illinois?" And I think they actually have one from Chicago. Yes, the big package is from Chicago, which is the big box is from Chicago. She, MK's like, "Oh my God, my homeland!" <laughs> okay, so we've got. Let's see, we got. Whoa, we got. Oh, we have all this cute stuff in here. Okay, hold up, we got. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read the letter first before we get into the cool stuff. Okay, so this letter is a bit long, but it's written in green ink, which is freaking amazing. I love green. So it says, Dear Pat, hello, I'm Victoria, and I'm 19 years old. My birthday is October 7th. Happy belated birthday, even though it was like 20 days ago. Happy belated birthday. I live about four hours away from Chicago. Did you have a good time being there? Okay, so MK actually lived in West Chicago, which is about like an hour away from actual Chicago. So it's... It's, I like Chicago. It's it's a little, you know, windy at times and really, really humid in the summer, like really hot. Like here in California, it gets hot, but we don't have humidity, at least where I live. So it's it's not like when I walk outside, I don't get drenched by the humidity. And I know a lot of you guys that deal with like Midwest, e you know, Eastern Coast people that deal with humidity. You know what I'm talking about. You walk outside, you're just drenched with sweat. I remember we, in West Chicago, I took a shower one morning. We went out for, MK and I went out for a walk in the morning. And I was like, oh, like, oh, like 10 minutes into the walk, I'm like, I feel like I need to take a shower. Like, oh, I felt like the Crypt Keeper. It was just bad. So anyway, uh, I hope you're having a fantastic day. I am. I hope you are too. I love your face. This is the first time I've wrote or sent something to a YouTuber. Thank you. That's so sweet. You and MK are so good together. 
I hope to meet you someday. I will be talking about that soon, actually. But anyway, I have so much... I have so much compassion for your subscriber. I thought it said compass, and I was gonna say something funny because Wade and I just did, uh, we did stay close, and he's at compass. But never mind. compassion for your subscribers. I always, I always try to come to your live streams. I found out about you and your channel while you were playing Move or Die with Wade, JP, and Gar. Now, but before I go on, I know my live stream schedule is like really, really stupid for a lot of people. I, I stream at eight o'clock my time because I get off of work at seven thirty, so I immediately go from work to here and I immediately start playing games and that's like 11 o'clock for East Coast people 10 o'clock for Midwest people and I stream until like 10 or 11 my time which is really 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 late for a lot of people so I'm sorry we, I'm, I might change up my schedule a little bit where I, I'll stream instead of Mondays I'll stream Wednesdays uh, Fridays and maybe Sundays maybe Saturdays I don't know we'll, we'll see but we'll figure it out so that it fits everybody's schedule regardless I loved it when all you guys were getting mad because Gar kept winning. This is about move or die. Um, I then immediately went to your channel and subscribed. I've been watching your videos for about six months now. You're an amazing and funny person, and I love it when you get scared. My favorite series I've watched so far is one is Oxen Free. I love Oxen Free. Move or die, mount your friends, and golf with friends. It was really funny when Wade would get mad because he would get so close to the hole and then somebody would hit him away. That was mostly me. <laughs> April 20th, 2016, my grandpa passed away. He died from high potassium. When he passed away, I got really upset and I just wanted to stay in my room for the rest of the week. That same day, we had a big together, we had a big family together, family gathering at our house. I was very close to him. I went to my grandparents' house almost every weekend when he was alive. He was a very silly guy. I did not want to be around anyone else or talk to anybody else when he passed. Your videos always made me laugh, and they help, and they've helped me pass. They've helped me through my hard times. On August third, twenty twenty ten, I found out my mom that I had. I found out that my mom has Asperger's syndrome. When I was younger, my older sister would make fun of me about it, but when I would tell people that I had autism, she didn't believe me. If you don't know what Asperger's syndrome is, it's a mild case of autism. So every year, every second, so every year, every second week of October. We do the walk. Now for Autism Speaks Walk. So this year is October 8th. There are about 700 people at this event. We are going to have about 20 people doing it this year. We weren't able to do it last year because I have I had to have an ankle fibula surgery on August 28th. So when I found out that I had to have surgery, I got really scared. I now have a plate and three screws in my left leg. And I'm going to have a scar on the side of my left leg for the rest of my life. I've made a few things. I've, uh, I have made your name out of Braille. I have your name, a lizard, and a squirtle out of rainbow loom and a bracelet with your favorite colors. I'm happy to call you one of my friends. Some song recommendations I have you are from I have for you are Skillet albums Awake and Comatose and I Don't Care by Apocalyptica. I love you, Victoria Clemens. P.S. Out of you, Way JP and Gar, you are my favorite. Yes! I have become the favorite. I'm kidding. Thank you so much, Victoria. Thank you for sharing your, your story with us. This is... This is... Amazing. I have no other word for it besides you're an awesome trooper. You're keeping strong and I... Honestly, I think it's pretty cool that you have some screws in your legs. Not because of, of what gave you it, but like... You're like Iron Woman in some kind of awesome way, dude. Like, come on. It's, it's gotta be cool, but... Thank you so much for sharing your story with us, Victoria. It, it's when when my grandfather passed away, I could relate very very heavily because I was very very close to my grandparents. My my great grandma and my grandpa, uh, we called him pops, and uh, he was the kindest, amazing soul you'll ever meet. You know, he didn't care what the hell your thoughts were on anything. He just accepted you for who you were. And when he passed, it was very very hard for me. And, and I know where you're coming from that. And I, and anybody else that, you know, you've lost a loved one that, that means everything to you. I, I hope you get through that mourning process because it's, I know how hard it is, you know. And out of all the games and stuff we've played to, you know, to entertain you guys, to make you guys laugh, to, to get you guys' mind off of the everyday problems and stuff, I'm, I love getting letters like these, knowing that, you know we're helping you you know that our 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 silly antics and shenanigans and stuff I will always say shenanigans now just 
I'm glad that we're helping you guys, honestly. Whether it's me alone or the Fruit Loop group that we have or just anybody, I'm, I'm glad that we're able to help you guys get through this. Anyway, I'm getting, I'm getting off tangent here, but we got an awesome a Braille Patrick Static thing, which I love. I think somebody, I, I've gotten a couple of these, which is really, really cool. I really like it. It reminds me of Pokemon uh, Sapphire and Emerald, and, uh, oh god, Sapphire, Emerald, the, oh god, it's, it reminds me of that when we had to go down to the, uh, get, um, the Reliant, then you had to do the codes for all the Reggies and stuff, that's what it reminds me of. Anyway, but, Victoria also sent us some awesome little, oh, look, we got a little Squirtle, I'm gonna put this right on my, I, I'm running out of fridge space, I've got too much stuff, I know I keep talking about me putting the shelf back there, but, Getting a shelf and putting it back there is gonna be crazy. We've got a little crazy awesome lizard. Dude, I'm gonna put him on my desk. Cause, oh, he fell off my desk. Okay. We've got, oh, dude, okay, this is cool. I like this a lot. Okay, so we have a P, an A, and a T out of these like really cool, like, I don't know what they're called, but they're like rainbow bracelets. They're like rubber band things. They're freaking amazing. A, lo a lot of you guys make these for me, and I, I really, really like them. I love them so much. And then the last thing we got. The last thing we got is like, oh, is this, oh, it's not a hemp bracelet, but, okay, so, I had friends back in high school that used to make these, and they made them out of, like, hemp bracelets and stuff, but these are really cool, I really like these, because these don't break as easy as, these actually last, like, a really, really long time, they don't break as easy as the rubber band ones, I get a lot of these from you guys, and, and they're really cool and stuff, but if I'm constantly taking them on and off because my work is, you know, crazy where they don't like me wearing them, it, they, the rubber bands break after time, and I feel really bad, because I keep them all, which, Cause I'm a hoarder like that, but I feel bad because it breaks and I don't know how to fix it because I'm stupid. Anyway, thank you so much, Victoria, for sending me the freaking amazing rubber band stuffs. The, the gecko is so freaking cute. He's so cute. Look at him. It's so freaking amazing. And thank you for the braille, the amazing letter, the squirrel, and the bracelet. Thank you, Victoria. All right. The next letter we've got, next package we got, says do not bend pictures. Do not bend. Now, I had to make sure they didn't bend this, and it doesn't look like it's been bent at all. So, that's the good thing. They, my, my post office is known for like, oh, please don't bend this, and they just like kind of cram it in there. Okay, so, we got, ooh, oh, snapples. Snap, crackle, pop, I saw some cool stuff in here. Okay, we got the friend letter. Let's go ahead and read this first. Nugget King and Queen. Holy crap, MK's supposed to be here, but she's, okay, she's in the room. Hey, Pat, I hope your day is fantastic. My day is going awesome. I wrote to you before and I gave you friend art, but it came in damn- oh, I know what this is! I have it somewhere. It's in the front room on my table. Okay, I remember this. I'm a little upset that it got ruined, but there's no need to apologize for something that you didn't do. I hope you got the Gengar pointed straight. I did. I had to like put like a really heavy- Okay, I have, I have, I have a bowling ball. That's what I did. <laughs> My bowling ball's got a zombie head, and so what I did is I kind of just put it on top of the painting and it flattened it out as best as I could. Okay, so if you guys don't remember this, a couple of weeks ago, I think it was like two or three weeks ago, I got a package and um, UPS, USPS, the United States Postal Service, delivered it to me in like a package, like a, another wrapped envelope thing saying, sorry, this package came in damaged. We did it, but it's kind of your guys' fault kind of thing. Not really, but... I was really upset about it, and I, I was like, you guys aren't gonna like, what are you guys gonna do about it? It's like, well, we can't really do anything, so I was just, I was really upset that you guys sent me something, and it, this person actually sent me something, and it totally ruined. Let's get back to Casper's, Casper's, uh, letter here, but just, I hope you got the Gengar pointing straightened out, but I came bearing more friend art. I hope you like them. It took a little over a day to make, but it's well worth it. Did you guys make art so quick? I can't even make sticky figures as quick. I'm being completely honest. I can't, I honestly can't believe how fast you guys make amazing friend art. Like, I, I honestly can't believe it. It takes me hours to make things. And I, I, I'm one of those people that I pay very, like, close attention to little stupid things because I'm a dork like that. And it, it, like, the nobs on my face person just doesn't look great. I'm like, <laughs> and it, it bothers crap out of me. So I have to, like, take my time. And the amazing job you guys do in one day. Like, oh my god, I want to be, I want to, give me your powers. Give me your power. Okay, I keep getting off tangent. I hope you like them, took a little over a day. Um, let's see, uh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, just to see people smile, it makes my day a thousand times better. I did post one of the friend arts to my Twitter and see that you liked it. It made one of my horrible days seem brighter. I also draw Garway and JP as Pokemon and actually got to talk to them. Happy that they loved it. Well, actually, Gar barked. Gar, Gar does that. He also flops. 
but still makes me glad that I can actually make people smile, Casper. P.S. I put Haunter and one of the Umbreons in there for MK. I hope you guys love them. I'm gonna have to go show her here in a second because she's busy drawing and stuff. But the first one we got is this Umbreon for MK. I personally love Umbreon and I love Flareon too. Actually, MK and I were having this discussion which which evolution was our favorite. And uh, oh shoot, here we go. This one's for me. Shiny Static. Boom, another Umbreon. That looks sick. MK not getting that. That's mine. <laughs> And then next we've got a beautiful Haunter. I freaking love Haunter. Haunter Gengar Ghastly is like my favorite like trio of of Pokemon that just like shenanigans. And then we got the best one. We got Ghastly. Dude, these Casper, these are amazing. I love these so much. This will go great with the with the freaking Gengar one. Thank you so much, Casper. And I'm I'm glad the guys, the rest of the guys, JP Gar and Wade, they that they all like the other yeah, drawings you did for them. Thank you so much. And these are amazing! Oh my god! I'm gonna go get MK hers right now, but thank you so much. Okay, so we have reached the end of our mail. We have one big package, and it's 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 filled with something. I'm low key hoping it's beef jerky, but that's just because of uh, because MK's been eating all my beef jerky. It makes me sad. Okay, anyway, this one is from Amber Roman from Chicago, Illinois, which made MK like fangirl because she's like, oh my god, people from people from Chicago. Okay, so here we go. I do. I b before we open this, actually, I wanna I wanna thank everybody who sent me stuff, and I I feel like it's Christmas every Saturday because I get to open all these amazing letters and packages. And it's not about the physical things that you guys send me. I honestly love seeing friend art. I love reading about your guys' lives, whether it's personal, you guys don't want me to read it on camera, or if it's something that I could share with everybody else in the community. I just it it means everything to me because I I. When I live stream, when I see your guys' comments, that's when the channel becomes less of a me posting videos and more of a like one-on-one -on -one personal connection where I get to talk to you guys and learn more about you guys and stuff like that. And and I remember Antonio a long time ago, he sent me a picture of his like formal or his or his prom picture and stuff like that. And I get to see put a face to the name and stuff like that. And just stuff like that just blows my mind that you guys are willing to share stuff, very personal stuff, make you know ask me to throw very personal items away and and stuff like that because I've gotten a couple of those letters now and I, I don't always say it because I know it can you know upset people or trigger people or stuff like that and I, I, I want to respect that privacy but I'm getting off on a tangent let's go ahead and open Amber's amazing care package okay here we go oh my goodness oh my goodness okay hold up I see a giant bag of stuff which will open here in a sec haunt and then we've got a letter Okay, so, so the letter says from Tia. Okay, so let's go ahead and open this. <clears throat> All right, inside here is, oh my God, that is so cool. Okay, hold on, I'm geeking out, I'm geeking out. There's so much friend art. Oh my God, I'm gonna have to frame all of this, all of it, okay, hold on. I'm geeking out. I'm geeking out, I'm, I'm hardcore geeking. Okay, is there a letter? Please tell me, is there a letter? I don't see a letter. Oh no! Okay, so this just says from Tia. There's a bunch of friend art. Strap yourselves in. My hair is being stupid. Strap yourselves in. This all looks awesome. Okay, so we've got the first piece. And I think this is me and MK. <laughs> it's so freaking cool. And we've got a little Navi and a freaking rainbow dragon jerky. Dude, this is so cool. I'm so, I'm so, MK's gonna flip out. Okay, the next one we've got it says MK. Look at how pretty! Oh my goodness! Oh my, okay, hold on. I'm back, I had to back it up. And she's wearing my shirt. Why is she wearing my shirt? MK's been stealing my shirts. Loki. Okay, anyway, we've got this one is from Auction Free. I love Auction Free. If you guys haven't seen the Auction Free game or my, my series of it, I will put a link in down in the description. Go watch it or go buy it for yourself. It's an amazing game. We've got, oh, I, I love this. The artwork is just amazing to you. I love it so much. It's so unique. It's so awesome. Ooh. The next one we've got is Ghastly Haunter and Gengar. And Haunter looks awesome. Oh my god, his hands are so creepy. Sorry, you can't see Ghastly. Ghastly's up there at the top. We got Haunter in the middle and Gengar down at the bottom. This is so cool. Your style of artwork. Tia is so awesome. I love. Oh, 
Here we go. I don't remember what video is this from, but apparently I'm gonna show this away. But apparently we're doing the Titanic. <laughs> and, and and there's a bird eating Wade's nose. I don't know what this is from. Maybe I'm just being totally dorkish about it. But this is awesome. I love it so much. I'm totally framing this. That's going that's going on desk. And then we got a couple of things here that MK is not gonna take. We've got oh there's a freaking letter right here. I missed it. Okay, it says I heart tacos, and it's like a notepad. It's like sticky notes. But I, I love Invader Zim. And look at this chicken, little gar. Little gur, not gar, gur. And we got a Zim. Beautiful. And then, oh, oh my god. Look at how cute. It's my gang beasts. And then my ultimate chicken horse, they love each other. Dude, that is so cute. Okay, so. I had to change the color of my little cute bear thing in Gang Beast because Gar was Gar, Gar is blue moon, obviously. So I wanted him to have the closer blue, and JP's got a lot of colors that are blue. So I just decided to be purple because a lot of the channel is purple. Anyway, we're gonna read the letter that I am so rudely missed. Okay, here we are. Oh, ooh, this is even more stuff. <gasps> oh, you're my best friend. You sent me stickers. I love stickers. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, and it's typed out paper. Holy nuggets. Okay, here we go. Hey, Patrick, I drew more friend art. I hope you like it. The two with MK are for her. When you opened my letter and said such nice things, I cried. Oh, don't cry. I hope it's a good cry. Thank you so much for believing in me and cheering me up. I'm grateful for your kind words, and I love how encouraging everyone to chase. And I love how you encourage everyone to chase their dreams. One, if you can, can you please play more Yandre Simulator? I can. I've actually... When I went to go, oh god, where was I? When I went to, um, oh god, what is it? It, it, it was with May, when we went to Maine. When I went to Maine for my birthday. I forget what it was, Beach City or something like that. We went with Antoine D. Live and uh, Day, Molly, and Wade. Uh, I actually talked to Antoine a lot because Antoine has done a lot of Yandere Simulator. He's like, yeah, I can give you some points and tips. I'm like, okay, so I might, we might have, would you guys like to see more Yandere Simulator? We can fit that in. Also, what's your favorite mythical creature or legend? Ooh, mythical creature. I love the idea of Kraken and Nessie because I'm a dork. <laughs> uh, legend? I love really anything Greek. I guess ancient Greek, ancient Greece. I love a lot of, uh, a lot of those, not, I, I love, love those stories by like Omer and stuff. And I, I, I really like a lot of those stories. Uh, Odysseus, Od the Odyssey, I loved Odyssey. Uh, a lot of, a lot of my classmates back when I took it in like freshman sophomore year, they didn't really take it seriously. When I took it, I was like, dude, this is freaking cool. Like I, I love it. And then we got to watch the movie and watching a movie in high school is like, psh, got to do nothing in day. Anyway, the final question, do you like books, man manga or novels? Yes, I do actually. Uh, if you do, what genres do you like? If you do, I can write out a list of really awesome books to check out. And my suggestion is Claymore. I hope you have a good week, Pat. Thank you for making these days brighter and never stop being so awesome to you. Tia, you're freaking amazing. Thank you for everything. You sent me a big bag of food, too. But thank you so much for the drawings. I love them so much. You're amazing. As for the books, um, I really like a lot of Jehon Vasquez's work. Um, I'm very big in that. And um, Marie actually got me, MK got me started on a very awesome book series called Biz and Gas. I would highly suggest you guys look it up. I'm going to put like a picture right here if you guys want to go check the amazing series out. It's freaking awesome. Anyway, as, as for books and stuff uh, I again I like a lot of Egyptian type things I love reading about Egyptian you know myths legends how they were and stuff um, a lot of history books I'm, I'm a weird nerd like that I don't know and comic books I love comics. so Tia also sent us as I mentioned a big bag of food and it's oh my god it's like a big ziploc freaking thing oh there's a note in here too oh and it's it's a ziploc baggie oh this is from somebody totally different okay hold on hold on hold on Tia sent us all of the artwork, the stickers, all of that. This is for Amber. Okay, this is from Amber. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. This is totally different. Okay, hold on. Hold on now. Let's open Amber's letter. I feel totally rude. It's gonna be like, I swear it said Amber, not Tia. But okay, here we go. Let's read Amber's. And I think Amber has sent some stuff before. I think Amber wrote, it sounds super, okay, right, here we go. Dear Patrick, let me just start by saying my daughter Tia. Oh. Okay, it makes so much sense now. I'm an idiot. Okay, so Tia is Amber's daughter. My daughter Tia got me watching you on YouTube, and I think you're a wonderful person. 
I wish there were more people like you in this world. I'm really truly sorry we didn't get to meet you when you were here in August. As everyone probably knows, Chicago is a very high crime rate and I didn't, uh, and, and there are a lot of places we don't want to go. Uh, so I wanted to do something like Care Package uh, when I found out MK was moving there I wanted to be I wanted to send some stuff for her also I don't like to leave anyone out and I hope you enjoy it. my artistic it's my artistic ability uh, over please read the other side to yourself okay I will so I was gonna say Amber Rowan sounds super super familiar and I totally forgot when I was in Chicago last year visiting MK I was uh, like organizing like a little meet and greet kind of thing like a friend meetup and stuff and Amber tweeted me saying that she wouldn't gonna be able to make it which is totally okay because I totally understand why she didn't want to but it was more of a safety thing so I totally understand Amber and I totally is okay with that but Amber was kind enough to send MK and I I'm not gonna tell MK but I'm still a little bit tricky but I will give her the rest of the stuff we got some oh bacon duct tape MK is not getting the same it's mine 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 I got this this is for MK I'm sure she will share I don't know, this is Pirate's Booty Popcorn. I like popcorn. I really like popcorn. Popcorn's good. Good popcorn. It's like bacon. You just can't, can't, can't not put it down. We got some hot Cheetos. This is for MK. Now, I, I'm going to get a lot of hate in the comments. I don't like hot Cheetos because I can't stand hot Cheetos because I don't like hot things, which is something I'm going to do. Again, I'm going to talk to you guys here in a second about it, about something, a challenge related thing. So this will gladly go to MK. We got some snack poos here at the bottom. Ooh, dude, we got even more candy. We got some crunch bars. I love crunch bars. We have Snicker Crisps. <gasps> I know you love crunch. Try these. Okay, I will definitely try these. Snickers Crunch, sponsor. Dude, I'm gonna try those right here in a second. And then we have like four bags of, oh, we have four bags of beef jerky. And we've got a small bag of Star Wars jelly beans. Oh, heck yeah. Dude, and then we got, okay, whoa, wait, there's a note on this one. Pat, I don't know if you've ever had this, but uh, now you can go, you can't go wrong, it's a bacon in a bag, bacon jerky. I have had bacon jerky, actually. It tastes super weird because it's like, wait, 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 it, it, it's just bacon in a bag. I'm definitely gonna have that, yeah, the, all this beef jerky is mine, I'm kidding, not gonna, I'm gonna hide it. Thank you so much, Amber, you're freaking amazing. Thank you, your daughter, Tia. Tia, you are an amazing artist. I'm not even joking. You have amazing art skill. I love the style so much. I really, and, and this, this, this whole Wade thing. Th this one is my favorite. <laughs> Just, I'm gonna text Wade. Actually, I'm gonna be recording with him like in about half an hour. I'm gonna tell him and show him this, and this is gonna be featured in the video some way or form. Thank you. <laughs> All right, guys, so that was all the mail. Thank you, everybody who sent me stuff. You uh, Always, you guys never have to, but the fact that you guys do melts my heart. It Hearing about your guys' story, reading about how you guys are and how, you know, keeping everything up to date with you guys, I just, it, it makes me so happy that I can, it makes me so happy that you guys are willing to share personal stuff like that with me. So thank you again, everybody. Now on to the semi-awesome cool news. I mentioned something about a challenge in the in in the last package Amber sent me. So I, I said that I don't like hot stuff. I can't send spicy stuff. So I have a challenge for you guys. For you guys. Which will eventually pop onto me. My goal for the end of the year for subscriber things, because I always I, I don't pay too much attention to the subscribers of the channel because I think the people behind the number are much more important than the actual number of the channel. So, and that's been my mentality ever since I started, is I don't, I, yeah, anyway. I've always had little goals for myself of what to hit at the end of a year. And every year we've been consistently hitting that. And this year I went a little higher than I wanted to, that I thought we could hit. And I said, I want to hit 30,000 subscribers. Let's just, poof, big number. And we're actually really close to that. <laughs> We're like 2,200 subscribers away before the end of the year. So I wanted to propose a challenge, whether this happens or not. It's a challenge for you guys to see if we can hit 30,000 by the end of the year. If we do, I will do this challenge, and that is a pepper challenge. I will eat a pepper and, or like ghost pepper or pepper that will kill me kind of a thing. <laughs> MK will film it and, 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 and all of that. So we'll do some type of weird, crazy challenge that inflicts pain on me because one, I've always wanted to do it too. Eh, I gotta try new things. <laughs> but that is the challenge. 
You guys have been tested, challenge accepted or not? Let me know in the comments. So as for a lot of the series on the channels like Long Dark and uh, and Five Nights at Freddy's and Watch This and stuff like that, um, a lot of those videos have been not put on hold or anything. I've, I've got them recorded, but we've, I've been doing so many co-op things and I still have a lot more planned soon that um, I'm going to be doing. I it, It's just hard to get it all kind of situated and stuff. So don't don't freak out. All the stuff is still coming. Um, FNAF though, Sister Location, I think I'm going to live stream. I think I'm going to stream the rest of that instead of... I'm, I'm, if you guys can't make it, I will be archiving the live stream over here to YouTube so you guys won't miss anything. But that's for that. Uh, and I think that's about it that I wanted to go over with the news stuff. Oh! I missed it! I, I had one more thing. MK and I um, recently got our PAX East tickets. I don't know if we'll be able to go to PAX South, which I know will make a lot of people upset. I'm going to see... Um, the whole money situation because PAX East tickets were just kind of thrown on us, which was a big surprise. But as of right now, MK and I are planning to go to PAX East. So if you guys are wanting to meet up with MK or I or anybody else, we'll be at PAX East. So I love you guys' faces. Before I go though, I want to give you guys a very special music recommendation because when I'm on YouTube and stuff, I, I watch random, you know, videos here and then, the pineapple pen, uh, that rhyme. Anyway. <laughs> Anyway, I found this amazing, amazing musician. His name is Devin Townsend. The song I want to recommend, I'll put a little annotation right here. It's a song called Kingdom that he does. And this is a, I guess, um, semi-religious song. I don't know if it is or not. Regardless, he has the most amazing voice ever. And I'm not joking. And, and he's super silly and awesome. Go check the video out. Let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments. I, I want to turn it into like a conversation. Let me know what you guys think about it. But I, I have been listening to this song nonstop for like the last week and a half. And I've been really excited to like share it with you guys. I actually found it last Sunday. So I've been like, I need to tell everybody. I know exactly what song I'm going to recommend. So that's the song. I hope you guys go check it out. Kingdom from the Devin Townsend Project. Go check it out. Let me know what you guys think about it. I love your guys' faces. You guys are amazing, beautiful, awesome nuggets. Thank you guys for all the support on everything lately. You guys honestly make doing YouTube so much fun. Honestly, it's it's fun to do and having the amazing community that we have right now makes it even more fun. So anyway, I love your guys' faces. If you guys ever want to send me stuff, I'll put a, the P.O. Box link down in the description. Go check out the auction free playlist because it's an amazing, amazing game. And if you guys have any game recommendations, throw them down in the comments. I love your beautiful faces, and I will see you guys all next Saturday for some more Static Saturday stuff. See you guys then!